It's almost close to 5.30 p.m. in the evening. Today is November 13th. I'm a bit late uh, posting this video. I was busy with the solar storm last night and I was actually taking some pictures this morning. I started taking pictures from 5 o'clock and by the time I looked at the Comet 3i Atlas, I figured out that it is actually very bright. So I refocused my telescope and the camera. I want to make sure I get a good picture of it. So I took almost like 15 pictures of Comet 3i Atlas. It's a lot brighter than what we have seen before. I know Comet 3i Atlas is coming closer towards Earth. Uh, no way Earth is in danger. It's actually going to stay quite a bit uh, away from Earth, but it is going towards Jupiter. It's closer than before. It's, it was closer to Sun, now it is getting closer to Earth, going towards Jupiter. But I can see the size of the comet is growing. The weird part is, I saw the tail like yesterday when I was taking pictures and I didn't see the tail today. I was looking for it. I was trying to uh, do the time lapse. I was trying to stack the pictures. I was looking everywhere. I don't see the smoking trail anymore. But what I did notice though is I don't know whether this is confirmed or not, but the coma around the 3 atlas is going everywhere. Uh, it, like in one picture, I see it this way. Other picture, I see it this side. So I'll show you all those pictures. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please click on the subscribe button and click on the notifications. So when I post the new videos, you will be seeing those notifications and you can follow the videos. I post a lot of astronomy videos as well. Uh, very quickly, I do wanted to uh, point one thing. Uh, I was researching on where the comet 3 Atlas came from. So I was told that it came from the Sagittarius constellation. It might have taken a while to get here. And people are saying that it is like 7 billion years old. So upon my further research, at least, uh, the comet could be coming here. At least it took a couple of million of years to come here. But the material may be several billions years old, right? But from the nearest star, from where it came from, to come towards our sun, to our solar system, it might have taken it 20,000 years or so. So it's not billions of years it may have traveled it may have traveled several millions of years, at least two millions of years, it might have traveled. I was just trying to research a little bit more to understand what I'm dealing with. Anyway, I'll share the pictures that I took so far. So I started taking pictures this morning. Comet 3 Atlas is getting bigger than what we used to see before. You can actually see the Comet core is getting bigger because it's coming closer to Earth. And also you can clearly see the coma around it now. There is no tail now. But all I'm seeing is the coma. I wanted to confirm whether this is leaving any trail behind or just the coma. So let me time lapse it for you. That's what you're seeing. So this is basically inverting the image to see what's inside, almost like uh, an X-ray kind of picture. So you can start seeing the coma of this Comet 3 Atlas. If you start seeing the coma of this comet, you will see it is releasing in different directions as it is passing by. I don't know if you can see that clearly or not. I will show you the next set of pictures. 
after i inverted the image i thought when i was doing this i most of the time i was looking at these pictures as comet is moving in front of the stars right so what i did here was i wanted to hold the comet and let the stars move and the comet stay in still here are the set of pictures where if you start noticing it the stars are now going back technically the comet is staying intact and then i went to remove the stars in every one of those pictures so that i can clearly see with no illusion whether the comet is moving or not it is not moving anywhere you see that it is just standing still and the pulsating of it is slightly maybe due to atmosphere right or maybe clouds or anything else but uh, don't even look at the brightness as well i i'm not sure if these are the artifacts of the atmosphere or the comet itself but you can definitely see the coma is increasing and decreasing along with that brightness as well okay i'll show you the next process that i did to understand what's going on i wanted to get rid of all the noise uh from the camera so that i can clearly see what's happening because i wasn't really satisfied with how the pulsating nature of that comet is happening so i thought of let's get rid of the noise and see how the comet is truly behaving so here is what i got that's what i was saying i don't think this is happening due to the clouds if you can zoom in you can clearly see as well coma or the gas dust whatever it is called it is in different sides of the comet in every picture let me stop running fast and go slow right you see that picture 1 picture 2 like as if the solar wind is blowing the dust to the other side because technically comet is going this side so wind may be pushing the solar wind may be pushing the dust to other side i i don't know i'm just guessing now so this is fully stacked 3a atlas picture it's like a combination of 15 pictures and the stars are right here it makes sense now to see this comet along with the coma that it is moving around how it is behaving so the single picture won't tell you the real story when you are truly looking at that i'm sure the difference in brightness is because of the atmosphere but let me stop where the picture was really really bright so it makes perfect sense now in one of those pictures it's a bit more orange here and the rest of them seems to be kind of green so anyway so please please make sure to click on the subscribe button and the notifications button so whenever i post the new comet 3a atlas or any other astronomy videos you will get the notification thank you everyone clear space